Welcome to Unify's online video on the blogs. Today we're going to cover some settings that you may be interested in adjusting for your own blog. First, go into the site admin. The settings we're going to cover today are all listed underneath the settings button. The first ones that come up are listed under general settings. The big one here is the site title. This is what's listed at the top of your blog, and you can adjust this as frequently as you'd like. Ours is showing test user right now. We'll go ahead and change this to Mr. User, just to see what it looks like. Any changes that you make on any of these settings pages, you always have to remember to look for the Save Changes button. Many times this is listed at the bottom of the screen. The changes should happen immediately. You'll notice now in the upper left hand corner it's already changed our blog title to Mr. User here as well as on the blog itself. The next settings we'll look at is underneath writing. Here you can select and adjust the default post category and default link categories. For example, if you set up some post categories that you post to frequently and you don't like the term uncategorized or you're trying to keep your post organized, you can select the other category here. And again, remembering to look for the Save Changes button. Underneath Reading, it allows you to adjust how your front page is displayed to viewers. By default, your blog always shows your latest posts. You can change that to a static page. For example, select the radio button for a static page, and then on your front page you can select any static page that you've previously created. If we select About and choose Save Changes, we can go back and look. Now our blog does not show our most recent posts anymore, but instead the static about page. The next settings we'll look into are listed under discussion. The big thing here is whether or not to allow comments on your blog. This is basically dictated by this third box with allow people to post comments on new articles. With this being checked, it is set to enabled. This means any posts that currently exist or pre-existing post has comments enabled. Even if we were to uncheck this, saying we no longer want posts to allow comments, scroll down and select save changes, this will only affect new posts that do not already exist. Any posts that previously exist to that change will need to be adjusted individually to turn comments on or off. The next area of settings we'll look at is listed under privacy. What this allows you to do is set your blog available to basically the world, including search engines, basically the world trying to limit search engines as well as the capability to set your blog only viewable by those registered in the U5 blog environment. What this means is it will prompt all visitors to your site for a username and password and only those that are faculty and staff of Unit 5 will be allowed in. So those are some of the general settings that you may be interested in adjusting for your own blog.